We love, love hip hop. Oh hell no. I don't think Drake has to buy a ticket to go to anything, bro. No. Come on, bro. Imagine him getting stopped like at doors. Like, <laughs> hey, excuse me, Mr. Graham. Where do you? It's think sold out event. Hey. Oh. Or no, not even that. It's a private event. <laughs> you can't come in here, Mr. You can't Graham. Come in here. Like you. Like I was just wondering, like what, what, what does he do? Like for him to even get that picture with them, did he just like say, "All right, I'll get dressed"? When you're at a certain level, not just only Drake. Yeah. When you want to go do these things, like if you're a super famous actor or whatever, you just you just pull up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 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 give a call to your guy at the stadium. Say you I'm pulling up. Um, maybe if there's any room in a box seat, if all the, if it's sold out, or I'll just watch from backstage. To be honest, I don't yeah, need to yeah. even be on stage, right? Yeah. All right. Sure. Come on through, and we'll make sure that everything's ready for you when you get here. Mm, I I feel like that too. Or you're hitting up their management. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, don't worry, I got backstage passes for y'all. Like, what? Of course, come through. Like, what? Drizzy? Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he just pulls up to the stadium and is like, yo, I'm here. <laughs> like, you just see the Rolls Royce just <laughs> pull up and he just... <laughs> he has to make at least, or somebody make a phone call. Maybe he's not making the call himself, which I think he probably does. Yeah. But, like, he has to at least make one call first before leaving the crib. <laughs> I know. Because you never know. It probably gets stopped. Like, they probably be like, nah, nah, we can't let you in here. I don't know about that part, though. Like. Even if he decided to, this is a wild thought experiment. If Drake decided to just say, you know what? I'm not calling nobody. I'm just pulling up to the ACC or the Rogers Center, I mean. Yeah. And, you know, I'm coming in. I don't think the security, when the window rolls down. I it, see it's him. Nah, I'm still going. Going, to, going. Probably go, an go, Indian go. you would, though. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Just, they're always doing their fucking <laughs> no. job. No. No frills. They're fucking like, let him in. You know who that is? I don't care who it is. I don't know. <laughs> no, let him in. It's Drake. Drizzle. I don't know nothing about the drizzle. Imagine that. The man blows on the window. Uh, this is a sold out show. I don't think you can get in here tonight. Yeah, like, I don't think you can come in. It's Drake. So, yo, Who punch in the face, bro. Who is Drake? I know about. Yo, Gucci, get out the car and drape this nigga up. Please. I know about Sido. I don't know nothing about Drake. Drake, can't, you can't come in here, Mr. Grammy. Just doing it on my job. No, nah, I think he makes a full phone call first, right? Because it's a security issue, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. pulling up. Make sure I'm good. Yeah, that, too. Because then for him to leave his house, I bet you it's like 100 grand. Yeah, because you got to get all your one, two security guards, maybe four, yeah. to roll with you. You got to pay for the man them, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or not pay, because you... that's the thing. You're not paying nothing, bro. We're rolling with you. Everything's free, bro. You can go there and have dinner for free. Like, yeah. You don't got no food in this house today. Let's go here. <laughs> Let's go to the to the Rogers Center and go eat at the bar over there. Yeah. And we ha don't they have a bar over there? Yeah. So you just go out eating my own shit. shit. Come on, bro. It's, when you're at a certain level, like, you don't even have to think about these things, bro. No, nah, you're just no, but see, I had to ask because I'm just saying I wonder because I just it's, seen it. It's, with it's fun to wonder, bro. It's very fun. <laughs> I want to bro with him one day. And just be like this is what we're doing. Okay, let me see how this goes down. Like, how many times does Drake actually have to pull out or somebody who's pulling out the wallet or whatever? How many times does he actually have to do that? Because bro. when you're that famous, niggas is comping you, bro. Imagine him wanting a spliff. You're gonna be like, here, here. You Wait, you have ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Jamal, I might ask Yo, yo I'm kind of low still, I'd fam. Like, yo, you have 10 bucks in here. Here's 100. Give me the damn spliff. <laughs> no, like, bro. Like, you, just give me the spliff, bro. Yeah, yeah. What the yeah. hell, man? But would he respect it? <laughs> would he respect it if you took the money? I, You're not charging Drake, bro. It doesn't matter what you're you not do. You're not charging. And I'm not just talking about Drake because I feel like we're glazing a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Any somebody who's at a certain level of fame, yeah. they don't pay to go to these places because them being in those places is helping that place. So it's like, yo, can I take a picture and put you on the wall? Yeah. Because you ate here. You bought some, you came to buy some weed. What? Here's an ounce. Yeah. Can you take a picture I'm and be the on the best wall? Stuff. Yes. And I, or even if you don't take the picture, can I tell people that you bought your weed from here? Or, you know, I gave you some weed. But he he has, came to my shop. He has his own flower company. Well, that's flowers. the thing. Like, right. you start getting to a certain level. You don't even have to go to other people. I could just go get all the things that I need from my own companies. You know what I'm saying? True. If I want liquor, go drink my own liquor. If I want some something to smoke, go smoke my own draw. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I want to go eat some food or whatever, go eat at my own restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. It's yeah. like, 
you don't think anymore, bro. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. living, bro. You're just rich. It's already coming out of your pocket. Yeah, it came out of your pocket. Yes, bro. And those things that you're going to eat at make you money. Money. The place that you go smoke your your thing, it's already making you money. money. Just drop that off at the embassy you now and just make me smoke my blunts. Yeah, why would I go smoke anybody else's weed if I have my own strain? No. Like Drizzy doesn't, but like if I'm like the game or somebody, like yeah. I'm only or with Khalifa. Khalifa's only smoking Khalifa Kush. Cookies. If anything, somebody might have KK. to bless him with yeah. some other shit, and he'd be like, "I'll try it." Yeah, but it's not KK, so he ain't smoking it. Okay, fam, I've been around. You know, salute to the to the homie Forty. The man only smokes Bull Rider, bro. Bull Rider, yeah. And he and he has an invested. I remember when we were there. Yeah, All he gave us a fair bull rider. But if you try to give him something else, like fam, I bull riders, I got my part owner bull rider. Why I do I need, need anything I'm else? Not smoking, I ain't buying what you selling. Exactly, I I'm smoking from my own company that gives me the thing that I like the most. Yeah, you could tailor the shit to what you like. Yeah. You could have the whatever the Drake special on the menu, and. That's hot dogs and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hot dogs and some spaghetti. Yeah. Right? That's what I like. So just give me the Drake special. Every time I come in there, I just want to eat hot dogs and spaghetti. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You can do that, bro. Yeah. We just got to go get a bag, man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. get it, man. We're getting it. We're getting it. Um, we love hip hop.